factory, they had a very small turbocharger, no intercooler, so when the turbo gets hot... Mind you, when you're doing this, always check the factory manual or reputable maintenance manual to ensure you have the entirely correct torque sequence as well as the final torque. Like on this Buick engine, what's very important is you go gradually on your torques. Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. What I'm doing is I've got this uh, 87 Buick Grand National V6 right here. I'm preparing to install in my car. And it's a rebuilt crate motor, but I'd like to strengthen up some things. Straighten the, strengthen up the main bolts and the head bolts with ARP fasteners. Best bolts and nuts on the planet. So I'm getting the strongest stuff. I'm replacing my mains with ARP mains, which will make 200,000 tinsel strength, 200,000 pounds of tinsel strength. So a lot better than the factory ones where it puts all the pressure on the bolt head itself. This equalizes the pressure on the whole entire stud because it uses a nut. A nut and a washer to give this kind of spreading the torque weight to the entire fastener instead of just the pressure on the bolt head itself as which the factory uses. So I'm going to start loosening the factory ones and work the uh, ARP studs in there using a small Allen tool. So uh, it's going to take a little bit to get the old ones off then start working the new ones in with an Allen tool and then do the factory torque sequence and do a final torquing pound of 110 foot-pounds total for these ARP bolts and nuts. Alright, what I'm doing right now is I already broke the main bolts loose. I left that part out because you're hearing me go, Ugh! you know. Now I'm just loosening up and what I'm going to do is one at a time replace them with ARP studs and put nuts and washers on them. And then once I'm done with that, I'll slowly torque up to the specs. So I run the ARP all the way down, and I put some thread assembly compound on the threads where the actual pressure is going to be. Get a washer and an ARP nut, and I'm not going to do the final torque at this time. I'm just running them down to where they're just firm. I'll do the final torque once everything's done and start from the inside and work my way out. But every engine is different, so make sure to consult with your maintenance manual and make sure you get it right. So I'm just going to put a slight bit, not much torque, but just a slight bit, just to snug them to where the cap is still as seated as it was when I removed the bolts. I don't want to change anything on my bolt geometry because this engine was entirely built as a uh, crate motor so everything was built to spec. I'm just changing the bolts so they can withstand a lot more pressure than these factory bolts. Because I'll show you the difference when I pull this bolt out. Here's a factory bolt. See, when you tighten this bolt in all the way, all this pressure is going to this head and what happens is these bolts stretch. Well, an ARP bolt the stud gets threaded in, and once you start tightening the nut, it pulls on the entire threaded assembly, so the threads and the bolt take equal pressure, not just everything trying to pop the head off the bolt. And it's made out of material that can handle 200,000 PSI of tensile strength. ARP, you can't get better than that. Factories are okay for factory amount of pressure. They're okay, but you can't reuse them because they stretch when you torque them. ARPs you can continue to reuse because they equalize all the load. So they are the best of the best. If you're going to put a lot of boost and a lot of pressure on an engine, have the best ARP bolts. Okay, I finally got all the ARP fasteners in place and replaced the stocks with ARPs. Now I'm just going to go in a torquing sequence and slowly just uh, run them down fairly tight because I know 110 pounds final torque that's a lot of torque. I'm going to need a lot more than this, so I'm just going to go run these guys down gradually in a torquing sequence. Get them all snug. Then once I'm done with that, I'll get
get a torque wrench on them and really give them some torque. All right, just got all these final torque to 110 foot pounds. But make sure you check your maintenance manual to make sure what your torque specs are in your sequence. All right. Thank you for watching how to put main ARP bolts on your performance turbo engine. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like our videos, like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel and our page. And check out our new website, budgetboosting.com. And remember, all this kind of stuff is knowledge and it's power. Remember that. The next piston we're going to talk about, a dish piston, indicated by the little dish on top. That gives room, a little bit extra room for the valves and a lot of extra room for boost and less compression. But when boost hits, you're going to get a lot more compression, not more than flat top, 